Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you and uh, special good morning for those who they are in Indonesia and in uh, um, India, Thailand, Philippines, all those who they are in Asia and now soon in Europe they will be with us. Um, as you see our topic today is about what Muslims always come to us with. In the front of me there is a website and this website is made, uh, the purpose of it is just to convert you to Islam. It's called Islam for Christians. I mean, how silly if even the name. Islam came to destroy Christians, not to save Christians. So how you can say Islam for Christians? When the Quran says that Allah, he hate the Christians and he hate the Jews. When the Quran says Allah will spread hate and enmity between the Christians and the Jews until judgment day. Between the Christians to each other. How this book can be a book for the Christians how Islam can be for the Christians how God can be for anyone good or he want to believe in something good if this God he says it clearly that he is a person who love to promote hatred and to spread hatred as you see in the front of your eyes this is their book it's their translation this is their website and this is their Allah so instead of making an article speaking about Allah is one, what about we focus in the quality of this one? You know, at the end of the day, I don't care if your God Allah is one or two or even five, or even if he is a snake have seven heads. What we care for is how ethical, how good he is. But bragging too much about Allah is one, I find it very silly and very funny because he is one what? Satan is one too. <laughs> I mean, if if uh, being one that will make you God, that is the most silly, uh, uh, you know, uh, a claim or argument ever. I am one too. Uh, here we go. I'm God then. I am not two. Trust me. I'm not even four. So I find always the the Muslim argument about their God, about Allah being one, is I find it very silly, and I find it a bankruptcy argument. They think if they say to us and they say our God is one, now we will believe that their God is God. But this is not what makes God God. Let us say there is somebody he believes he have one thousand God, and then later we found that his God is his gods are exist. They are real. That change anything. Nothing changed. The question is: Is your God really is exist? Secondly, this one God you talk about, what kind of God he says? I'm going to spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. A verse like this in the front of me and then you say to me in a website like this we see here that Islam for Christians and you put for us the Quran and the Torah and the Bible how hypocrite how Islam is for a Christian and Islam says the God of Islam he targeted the Christians to spread hatred and enmity between them now the guy who keep calling me, his name is Cool Guy. I don't know why he keep calling. Should I block you? Are you suffering from mental issue? Why you keep calling? Before you call, you have to ask for permission. And as you see, we just started. I mean, we did not say anything yet. Allah is one and only God. Mm -hmm. I find that this is very funny. The Muslim, they never even know what Allah means. If you ask any Muslim, if you ask Muhammad himself, if you ask any Arab speaking person like me, not those Abdul who know nothing about Islam, what Allah means, they do not know. What is the root of Allah, they do not know. You see, you find the posted argument or claims in the internet that Allah is a word they diverted from the word Ilah. That's a stupid statement. That's not true. Allah is diverted from something else. I agree. It is two words, which is al lah. Let us teach Abdul about their God. Al lah. Speak the lah 
big. In Arabic, there's no capital letter, there's no small letter anyway. But just for, you know, the English uh, reading. al la Al, in the old Aramaic and old Hebrew, is a word meaning God. It's not a name. It's not... Um, uh, I mean, uh, uh, it's it's it is a word exists by itself, which means if we add L between anything, follow it, that will make what is after it the name, which is considered to be God. So I say, if I say Al Moon, I just say the Moon is God. If I say Al Sun, I just say that the Sun is God. So if I say Al Law, I just say it. La is God. So the real name of the God of Islam is La, is not Allah. This is why if we go in the Quran, we will find the following. <coughs> if we go to the first chapter in the Quran, <coughs> you will find right away that the first two verses, they present the name of the God of Islam in two different ways. Now, for sure, those who don't speak Arabic, maybe they will not notice, but I will help you to notice with me <coughs> what we are talking about. <coughs> you notice here with me, this word here, Allah, have this letter in the beginning. But this one does not have that letter in the beginning. Do you notice it? So, what is the difference between this name and this name here there's a this letter is missing here it's not exist why because simply the first one says <coughs> in the name of god la the second one says thanks to li la thanks to la the word al is gone which is mean God so so the first one it says in the name of God la the second one says alhamdu thanks to the letter L here I will write it for you <coughs> this one here is equal to two in English so alhamdulillah That is the name of your God. So what Muslims are suffering from is ignorance about who is their God and what their God name is. They don't even know what their God name. They keep saying Allah, 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 but the fact Allah is not one word. The same as if you ask a Muslim, what Jibreel mean? They think Jibreel is one word. Jibreel is not one word. Same as Israel. Israel is not one word. You see? What, what Muhammad did to himself, he got himself busted as a false prophet when he copied this name, those names. If we type the word Israel in Arabic or in English, <coughs> Israel, you notice that the last two letters are Il. Il in the old Hebrew used to be Al. So it used to be Ezra Al. Not Ezra, Il. So the, the same letters we use in the front of Allah is the same word used for Israel. So Israel used to be Israel, which means God. So Il and Al is a word meaning God. But Muhammad the thief, when he stole those names, he did not know the difference. And he got himself busted. Because the update in the name is an update of a language, not an update of God. To make it simple for you. In the old language, God was a Al. In the new language, it was transform into el this is why we say in the bible that we call jesus emmanuel el 
Ill can sometimes come in the beginning of the world or in the front of it or at the end. It's the same. Still, it's a word mean God. Gabriel, Mikael, Israel, Ishmael. All of those used to be Al, not Il. So the original name of Israel is Israel. And if we ask a Muslim, what Israel mean? They have no idea. What Israel mean? They have no idea. What Mikael mean? They have no idea. Why? Because Muhammad simply is a thief. He did not know where those names are coming from. And he think they are just the names. In fact, they are not. Every one of those is a sentence and a statement. It is not a name. But when you are a thief, you take it, you do not know what are you talking about. The same as Muhammad, when he copy from a book, which is written by Waraq al Nawfal, we find him saying the following as an example. If you go to this verse, chapter 6, verse number 74, you will see the Muslims consider the word Azar as a name for Abraham's father. Why? And this why is not translated because this is a name. We don't translate a name. The fact this is not a name, but because Muhammad himself is a thief, and then those who follow after, they are just copy-paste. They thought that this is the name of the father of Abraham, but all of us we can go and see what the name of Abraham You can go right now to Google type two words and you will find Okay, type in Google. What is the name of the father of Abraham and you will see this is absolutely false The Muslims they think that Azar is the name of the father of Abraham based in their disconnection or disconnect with the with the knowledge of where the name is coming from or what the word is mean this is not a name this is a word mean foolish so imagine because of the stupidity of this cult the word foolish became a name of the father of abraham so imagine i say to somebody foolish the muslim abdul he think i am calling him that this is his name and then he will write in the book uh, christian prince he called this guy foolish so his name is foolish why they thought this is a this is a name because they do not know what Azar mean And that is showing us the foolishness of the founder of this cult So from a, from Azar saying to his father foolish are you going to worship idols? This is what it says Hey fool are you fool you worship idols makes sense right now it makes sense Nobody call his father by his, by his name because this is this is disrespect You don't say to your father. Hey, uh, my, my father, etc. You don't call him by his name You say to him father So father Azar, this is foolish are you going to worship idols and Now that makes sense But for a foolish religion, for a foolish prophet, for a foolish cult, the foolish became a name. So now, according to Muhammad, Abraham, his last name is foolish. Let me introduce to you prophet Abraham the foolish. His father name is foolish and his mother name is silly. And here, right away, we notice that this is cannot be from God. So, why the Muslims, they focus too much about saying to us that Allah is one God? When Satan is one Satan. You see, in Muhammad, uh, he tried to come to the conclusion that there's many Satans, but according to the Quran, there's only one the first Satan, his name is Iblis. There's only one Iblis. So, is Iblis as God? Muhammad he claim that Iblis is going to share with mankind 
their children. And you find that in the Quran, as an example, chapter 18, verse number 50. And then the Muslims, in order to come to, uh, to like a solution for this, how Iblis is going to have a children? Who is, the, who is his wife? I mean, this is silly. Iblis, Iblis is the first, is, you, know, for, you know, like Muslims, they have a very funny a cult, is a very confusing cult. Allah, he kicked from heaven only one Satan, only one. As you see, he is the only one who refused to bow down to Adam. And he was right. You know, this God is crazy. Why you are you asking me to bow down to Adam? He's a man like me. I mean, I, I am I am actually made it from a better nature, nature from him. Why you are ordering, you know, and what is the what is the logic? The Muslim they say to us, Allah is one God and we worship God only. When their God himself is asking Shaitan and the angels to bow down worshiping Adam. The first one who order human, uh, uh, you know, uh, someone to bow down to a human, it was Allah. So your God, Allah, is a mushrik. You see, the Muslim, they say to us, we as Muslim, we bow down only to Allah, which is a big fat lie. As you see, this is the God of Islam himself is ordering the angels and shaitan. Actually, by the way, he ordered only the angels, but he get upset from the shaitan, which is very silly and stupid. Because of shaitan, according to Islam, for those who do not know, Satan is not an angel, not like in the Bible. So don't be confused. Islam does not teach that Satan is an angel. Satan is a, cre a creator by himself from different kind. They call them genie, which is taken from stories from India and Persia. Genie and the ball. So Muhammad, he think that Allah created three kind of creatures. Human, angels, and genies. There's no demon. That's it. But some some uh, naive Christians they keep mixing between what they believe in the Bible and what the Muslim believe. There's no demon in Islam. They don't believe in demon. So don't think when we say genie that is a demon. No, don't be silly. So genie and the human and angels. Okay. Now Allah He ordered the angels to bow down to Adam, but He the genie he refused which which makes sense but the, the story here is more silly because allah he ordered the angels to bow down if you remember in my debate with sheikh abdul wadud he could not answer me and he could not find me how in the world this mistake happened how i say all cats say, say meow and then i get upset from the dog for not saying meow very silly he's a dog he's not a cat i ordered the angels to bow down why i'm set from the genie so Islam is a silly religion. The second you start reading and the second you start understanding, especially if you speak Arabic, you will find how stupid the Quran in Arabic and how funny the meaning is. And then the translation come to cover up some of the stupidity, but it doesn't work no more, especially with someone like me. So here what you see that Muhammad, God supposedly, the one God, quote unquote, the silly God, one God, he says that genie is going to share with your children. And he's saying, are you going to take him and his children as a protectors? So Allah, he just confirmed that shaitan, he have a children. And now we try to solve the problem. How shaitan is going to have a children? If you go and read the interpretation for this verse, you will see the Muslim scholars, they come with the story. And the story is very funny. That shaitan, he if himself every day. Allah, he created for him a penis in the right leg. And he created for him a vagina in the left leg. So he want, when he want to have sex, he shake his legs. Uh, by the way, I'm shaking my legs right now because it's cold, not because uh, I'm having sex. Okay? So, uh, stop my legs. Stop. I cannot stop them. It's cold. So, look how funny this cult is. Shaitan, he have a penis 
because Muslims they have to find a solution now okay the Quran says shaitan he have children but he don't have a wife so what we will do how we can solve this problem we have to come with something so they come with it and now shaitan he have and by the way if there's a Muslim he want to say to me this is a lie I don't, I don't believe it will challenge me call me right now and I will show you the reference Can you give the link you are using? Yeah, it's called Quran Wow. As you see, it's really wow. <laughs> Quran, Quran Wow, very well. But as you see, all those Muslim translation is not to be trusted. This is why I'm working in the Quran translation right now. Now, just because we mentioned this, I don't want to just mention it without showing reference. You know, the Muslim they will say, Oh, he's lying. <clears throat> Okay, Shaitan. All right. This is Tafsir Al Qurtubi, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. You will see here it says the following Waqala Mujahid. وقال مجاهد إن إبليس أدخل فرجه في فرج نفسه فباض خمس بيضات that إبليس he did enter his private part into his private part and he lay five eggs and this is the origin of his childrens and it says that Allah he created for him in his right thigh a penis and in the left thigh a vagina so who do he do nikah by this uh, with this by that you see here the word yankah the muslim they say to us that the word yankah mean getting married but as you see it not it's not about getting married it's about physical uh, you know uh, here shaitan is getting married from who the left leg from the right leg no there's no marriage it's effing so he if this with that this with that this what the penis which is in the right side as you see okay a penis a vagina so he do nukah to this by that and then here continue saying and every time he do that every day he lay down 10 eggs so finally we discover that in islam shaitan is a chicken in the best scenario he's a turkey all right and then the story the fantasy story continue i mean we, uh, muhammad cannot stop there muhammad he have to give us some wisdom and then he says because there is no way the muslims are coming with this from their own it's, it must be coming from from their prophet right and then he after he laid down 10 eggs يَخْرُجُ مِنْ كُلِّ بَيْضَ سَبْعُونَ شَيْطَانٌ وَشَيْطَانَ and from every egg he laid down 70 Satan male Satan and female Satan see the first Satan he have a, a penis and a, and, a, and a vagina in the same in the in his body but his children know there's male Satan and there's female Satan and from every egg there is 70 Satan now if we from every egg we have 70 and he is laying down 10 eggs every day what is the total of the babies shaitan he make every day 700 satan every day i don't swear i don't curse where well, i'm cursing surely guys did i curse where i cursed uh, a person saying a christian prince he have a unique way of cursing and swearing what are you talking about? Where is my curse? You know, sometimes people are silly. So as you see here, and not only that, it says, and then those 70 Satan and Shaitan, male and female, when they come out, they fly immediately.
So when a Muslim he focus in Allah being a one God, are you focusing? Why you don't focus about Allah the silly God? Why you don't focus about Allah the fairy tale God? Why you don't focus about Allah the fiction God? Why you don't focus about the porn star God who want to make you horny in heaven, give you a lot of women, boys for sex in this penis? Right? So as you see here, when the Muslims, they try to focus about Allah being one, they are trying to take your attention away from the quality and the stupidity we find in their book about their God. So let us focus in Allah being one and let us forget about Allah being one stupid. Let us focus about Allah being one and let us not to remember that Allah is one satanic. You know, when, when we ask the Muslim, why Allah has spread hatred between the Christians? When the Muslim, they make a website like this for us, saying Allah is the only true God and the name of the website is Islam for Christians. How Islam is for Christians, yet Islam says that Allah, he target the Christians and he want to spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. Uh, sorry, I forgot Twitter on. <clears throat> Do you see how silly this cult is? <laughs> how silly? Who care? Who care if your God is one? Tell me about the quality of your one God or two God or three gods. They try to fool us, giving us article about we are people of monotheism. No, you don't have a monotheism. You Muslim, you don't worship Allah alone. And the proof is the Shahada. What is going to make me a Muslim? If I say I believe in Allah, is that accepted? No. You have to say I believe there is no God but Allah and there is no perverted prophet but Muhammad. And if you say that, then you are a Muslim. If you say you believe in Allah only, that's not Islam. It's rejected. So, Islam is like a, a, a like an, a grave covered by marble. They try to put the most expensive marble in the top of it, but in the end, it's a grave. It is silly, it's stupid, it's hateful, it's violence, and far away from reality too. As an example, <clears throat> when the Muslims, they say to us that our God, he taught us about himself. Okay, what he taught you about yourself, about himself? In fact, nothing. What the Muslims, they knew about their God? Nothing. All what they knew, he have two hands in the right side, which obviously, maybe it's a birth defect or something. Have you ever heard of a God he have two hands in the right side? <coughs> That's your God? You have one God who have two hands. And both of them in the right side. What happened? Did he go through an accident or something? So they focus in their God as one God, but they don't focus in the silliness of this God. Why does God have two hands in the right side? What happened? And why he have hands anyway? You know, the Muslim they say to us, Allah is not a man. You Christians worship a man. 
but their God have five fingers, have a foot, have a shin, and actually the Quran says that in the before the judgment day, Allah is going to expose his shin. And imagine, imagine if you are a person who have two hands in the right side of your body. That is a, this is a problem, my friend. What if somebody spank you from the left side? What you, what, what, how you can respond to this? So you are like this here. <clears throat> Let us say this is Allah. And now his hands, both of them are in the right side. Allah have a shin it doesn't confirm that Allah have two or not but it says only a shin so we can draw only that he have one and he have a foot so all what we know that Allah he have one shin and one foot there's nowhere it mentioned that Allah have two shins or two foot and then Allah he have two hands in the right both of them are here each one of them have five fingers Now a Christian prince is here. He come and he punch Allah in his left shoulder from the left side. Now a Christian prince, he have two legs, and he have hands in both side. So he have advantage over Allah because Allah only can respond from somebody or to somebody he is in the, his right side. But if a Christian prince hit him here in the left side, Allah cannot respond because he have no hand there. Same time, if we ask ourselves, your God Allah is not a man. He have two hands, he have one foot, he have two eyes. He have a face, he have a mouth. That's wonderful. Why he need those parts? You see, when we say, that I have a hand is to use it to grab with it our Lord the Messiah he have hands because he come to us in a form of a man but our Lord the Messiah he can control the nature without using his hands as simple as that he can resurrect people from death without using any tools he can heal people by saying, you are healed. The same as he say, you are forgiven. Allah, he need his hands to do work. As an example. <clears throat> when Allah, he created Adam, did he created him by saying, be and he was, as a verse in the Quran says to us? All those verses in front of us, by the way, mentioning that Allah He have hands. All right. As you see, there's many, many, many verses. But the most important is. But Allah created Adam by his hands and in his image. If you go in the Quran, you will find the Muslims, they are suffering from many problems which they cannot explain. Because the Quran is a copy book of other books and it's not connected with those books, which means it's a collection of stories. We took them and, uh, uh, you know, and we put them together and it doesn't matter if they are, you know, they mean anything at the end of the day. It's just a collection of stories. And Muhammad, whatever he hear from, hear from people around him, he take it, he put it there. 
But when the Quran says in chapter 38 verse number 75 that Allah created Adam by his hands How the Muslims will solve this problem anyone knows what is the problem now? Who knows what the problem the, this is a big problem If a Muslim consider himself Worshipping one God who created Adam by saying be as other verse in the Quran says or claim which is proving Islam to be false again. Why? Because how one verse says, hmm. Allah, he says to Adam, be and he was. Another verse says, Allah said, in chapter 3, verse number 1, uh, chapter 59, uh, verse number 59, the likeness of Jesus with Allah is as the likeness of Adam. He created him of dust. Then he said to him, be, and he was. <laughs> but this verse says that he created him by his hands, not by his mouth. Not by using a word. In different verse, it says that Allah, he breathed into Adam too. In other verse, it says that even Adam himself, he said to Allah, finish me before the sunset, which means Allah has taken him very long to finish Adam. But we notice here that Allah here is confirming, supposedly the one is talking is Allah, but obviously this is Muhammad, confirming that he created Adam with his hands. So what is hands of Allah? Any Muslim have an idea? Hmm? Why Allah needed to create Adam by his hands? You see, we do things based on, let us say, Uh, if I can now, let us say I have a problem with my roof. Like last summer, I have a problem with my roof. And I need to fix it. If I can fix this roof without using my hands, just by saying fixed, it's going to be fixed. Should I use my hands? Why Allah is using his hands when he can just say the word and then he will be there especially after we saw Allah himself supposedly stating in chapter 3 verse number 59 that he said to Adam be and he was and if we remember there's a verse in the Quran says if this book is not from Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. Do you see it? One verse saying that Allah, He said to Adam, be and He was. The other verse saying that Allah, he have to work with his hands to make Adam, Adam. And when Allah, he is using his hands. Is that only to create Adam? No, the Quran confirmed that Allah He built 
the earth and the heaven by using his hands so the hands of Allah are literally a physical hands who they are literally used the same as we use our hands we build with it we eat with it we hold things with it and this is explained why Muhammad believed that Allah have five fingers in every hand so the question now here instead of the Muslims focusing in their God to be one God what about we try to find who is your God and how why he looked like this why he have two hands in the right side how, why we have he have one shin which will make him jump like a kangaroo uh, imagine if you have one foot I mean how you can walk with it and why you have a foot anyway are we following guys How, why he have a foot? God, our God, he came to us as a man because he was walking between us. He came, he have hands because he is, came in the flesh of a human. We as a Christian, we believe that Jesus the Christ is the visible image of the invisible God, which means he humbled himself, our God, he humbled himself and he came in the image of a man. But this is how your God is. Your God is, reality is, he, this is how he is. He's not taking a new form. No, he is a person with two hands. Two hands in the right side of his shoulder. One foot and one shin. And two eyes. And one mouth. Why? A Muslim, a Muslim, she is upset from me and she said, go to hell with, with HIV. And this is a great example that the one God of Islam is not a helpful God. He made out of Muslims people who curse and he hate people around them just because they don't agree with them. While the God of the Christian says, pray for them. So for me as a Christian, my Lord, he said to me, I pray for you if you have HIV to be healed, not to curse you to have it. And this is what make a difference between my God and your God. You claim that you have one God, but obviously your God, he did not make something good out of you. Your God made you a person who curse, hate, and you know, you, you, cannot, you cannot even uh, uh, act normally as a normal human. My God was able to change me for better and for good. Look at this guy. This is the spirit of Islam. CP, go to hell with your HIV. I don't know, maybe I slept with you and this is why you think I have HIV because you are carrying... Did you give it to me or something? Where do you, where do you get this from? Ah, so you are a lady who have an HIV sleeping around and you thought you slept with me. No, I did not sleep with you and I don't have that disease. Thanks God. But as I know, you're a prophet, according to the hadith, that all his wives was infected with sexual disease. And I can prove it. As long as you mention this, excuse me, I have to show you that you Muslims believe in a prophet who was infected, obviously, with sexual disease. Let us read this. You're a prophet. All the women he slept with, they have in their vaginal thin and yellow water. And if you ask any doctor, he will say to you that this is a clear proof of a sexual infection. That is not a healthy vagina. Now I will give you a chance to pray for Muhammad so he might not die because of his sexual disease. And because Muhammad is moving, as you see, he, he think, oh, look, look what he says. The women's water is thin and yellow. 
So Muhammad he never slept with the women. She is not infected. Do you see it? Why all the women of Muhammad they have a yellow thin water in their vagina? Hello? Be careful when you say something to Christian Prince because he will answer you in a way you don't like. And as you see, we answer with reference, not like with cursing. We don't curse. Now, I'm not going to ask you, by the way, how silly your prophet when he says here that the water of the man is thick and white and the water of the woman is thin and yellow and which of one of them comes first, the child will resemble him. Now I know Zachary Naik, he looked like who? Based on this, obviously his father have orgasm first. Now I know how why Trump he looked like that. He looked like his father. And here, by the way, it's not only about a look, it's about the gender too. Because obviously, when they his father and his mother they did the boom boom, uh, obviously the father of Trump he had orgasm first, and this is what it's called the science of Allah. I remember Muhammad, he don't speak of his own. Everything he says, everything he says, it's an inspiration from Allah. And obviously, this is a fantasy, not a science. This is a stupidity, not knowledge. Based on this, if you don't want to have a son, you would like to have a girl, daughter, well, don't have orgasm first, let your wife have orgasm. And by the way, the funny, the wife of Muhammad, she said to him when he was explaining to a woman about the water in her vagina, she said to him, and do the women have that? Which means, do the women have orgasm? The Muslim translation, they say, is do the women see what dreams? The fact she was not saying that. Which means, Muhammad's wife, she never have orgasm too. Do we have any Muslim here have an objection? Any Muslim, he want to say something to us. Please feel free. I would like to listen to you. And trust me, we as a Christian, we don't hate you. You know, we are we have objection for this cult. It's a stupid cult, but we are not here to to hate you or to speak against you. You are not. You know, you you are a victim of this cult. You are not really. Uh, you're not the problem. <clears throat> uh, he said he want to punish me in uh, in Germany. Abdul, you know, let the Abdul try to punish me. I like it as if. Uh, 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 I don't know if you saw Amir in uh, you know if you see Amir Amir he can eat this Ramadan you know let him punish him I, I will not even get involved I will watch <laughs> or let him punish me too I mean they are silly they teach violence we don't want to teach violence and we don't believe in violence but this is a clear sign that they are losing ground and they are upset for they cannot answer us they make videos, they debate themselves. Oh, here you go, call me. This guy, how many times I said, okay, give me your Skype, I will call you. He will not dare. Christian Prince is lying. I will show you the proof. Let me show you. But they cannot and they will not dare to call me. <clears throat> what if both have orgasm in the same time? That's a good question. <clears throat> Uh, I cannot say that he will be a gay because according to different reference in Islam the gays are the children of those who they're the husband he have sex with the women from her ass excuse my language according to Muslims if a man he have sex with his wife from her long wrong location that make the son a gay some they say if he look at her vagina that will make the son blind 
all right this is why Aisha she said I never saw the penis of Muhammad I don't know why she said that maybe because it's so small or because maybe it's so shiny let me see if I can find the reference <clears throat> Uh, all right <clears throat> I mean sometime I find the stories it's in Islamic books is beyond silly how in the world a woman she is having sex with the man she never saw his penis so what she saw <laughs> do you see it his wife she never saw the private part of her husband why is that I'm not going to go in details, but I mean, isn't it? This is funny and stupid. And what's wrong with the woman seeing the the the, the penis of her husband? If you if the if the wife she cannot see the penis of her husband, she will see the penis of who? She's his wife, and they can have sex lawfully. So what they were doing all this time? Maybe she could not find it. This is remind me of an Arabian joke. A guy, he went to the tailor and he told him, I want a pant with a big, 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 big zipper. The guy, he said, wow, it must be so big. <laughs> the guy, he said, no, it's so small. I cannot find it. <laughs> So Aisha, she never saw the private part of the messenger of Allah. And you are asking me why Aisha, she never have a children? Well, she never saw it. As simple as that. Any Muslim have anything to say? Guys, if you read the books of Muslims, you will die laughing. I don't know how many of you they have my book, Sex and Allah. Read it and, and, and it's fun. It's really fun. Madness, stupidity, crazy. <clears throat> Any Muslim have something to say? The stories about private parts in Islam is beyond imagination. Like Muhammad, he claimed that when his mother, she gave birth to him, <coughs> excuse me, a light came out from her vagina and reached all the way to Damascus. And this is why, actually, uh, uh, you know, my grand, grand, grandfather, he said he was going in a trip at that time, not to Syria, but to close, like he was going to Jerusalem. And in the way, they saw a light coming all the way from Mecca, very fast. And uh, my grandfather, he lost his sight for a few days. And he told us, that uh, the proof that this is the light of the mother Muhammad, uh, because it was, it have a smell. The light came from the mother of Muhammad vagina all the way to the to Damascus, but those who live next door did not see it. Why nobody in Mecca saw the light? To the point, the Muslims, the the, the the Arab around him, they keep saying to him, "Give us a miracle, give us a sign." 
if this has happened, well, all the all the village will see that people in Damascus they have seen this uh, light, but the neighbors did not see it. And actually, this is my worry now. If I marry a Muslim woman, or even a Middle Eastern woman, as you know, we are Middle Eastern, you know. I'm worried, like, should I wear a welding mask before we take off our clothes? Because what if my wife, she have the same private part like the mother of Muhammad? A nuke private part. She took off her panty, oh, boof, the light come out. Here we go, I go blind. Are you happy now? And maybe this is why I should not look. So as you see, the Muslim they try to focus in they have one God to avoid asking about how silly this cult is. Ask no questions. The only thing they will say to you, Allah is only one true God. If you ask in details, you will see how silly and how stupid this God, who he think that the women she have a sperm coming from her ribs, specifically the location of the necklace. Why we don't ask our ourselves? Is this God qualified to be God? Hmm? Can we consider? Hey guys, please, no, no personal insult in the text. And anyone will insult anyone. Doesn't matter if you are Christian or not, a Muslim or not. We will give you time out. If you repeat it, we will block you. So anyone will make a personal insult, attack the topic, not the person. The only one you can attack is a Christian prince. Feel free. Call me whatever you want. Hmm? Why wouldn't ask ourselves, what make Allah Allah? Your God. What make him God for you? Any Muslim have an idea? What make Allah God for you? Is that because He will provide us a lot of women who they are extremely zigzy? I like zigzy women, especially if we can see through the marrow of their bones. And people they are asking me why you are still and not married. I mean, imagine you take her to bed and look what you see. <laughs> you see an x ray. My wife, the beautiful wife, brother, I pray to Allah five times a day, bending my ass up and down, saying words in a language I don't understand. Doing jihad against the, the, the kuffar, exploding myself, and be, I became pieces to get a woman. I can see the marrow of her bones. Can't you do better? So, our God is one God. He created for us, the brother, in the heaven, women, we can see the marrow of their bones. Nice to meet you, marrow, marrow God. This is the God you are talking about? I really, really, I cannot wait to go to heaven and get those women. Very beautiful, very sexy, very hot. You know, we have to be uh, realistic.
this God is really something a brother you will see the marrow of your wives from now on your wife she cannot hide the hamburger she ate from you you can see it I mean you can see literally everything there when you go to heaven brother your wives will be walking around you in a very very emotional way and you can take selfie Allah is the best to create who can create better than this than Allah Let me introduce for you my first wife and now my those three wives in the image they are doing uh, what they call it zomba zomba in the beach i know you might be confused which one is the like which one is uh, all of them they have one name we call them hur have you ever heard of all women in heaven their name is hur they have the same face the same look the same voice the same song the same name and the same age I'm sure many of you is thinking seriously to convert to Islam now. Right? But I found that the most accurate image for what Muhammad described for us in heaven in the hadith is this one. Look at your beautiful wife. Or look at this one. Oh boy. I am not sure how many of you is thinking literally now to convert to Islam. You know, if I say to somebody that Muhammad, he promised Muslims or Allah, he promised Muslims to go to heaven and get this. Women, we can sue the, see the marrow of their bones. They will say to me, you are a liar. There is no way Muhammad he will say such a stupid thing. My friend, it's in front of you. I am not making things up. Do you see it? And not only that, Muhammad he swear by Allah that this is what you will get. By Allah. So don't tell me I'm making things up. And you know, for myself, uh, to be honest with you, I avoid looking at those pictures. As you know, I am single. I mean, I cannot handle it. Look at this. I mean, it's getting hot here. Let me turn off the heater. A guy, his name is Hussein. He is saying to me, liar. I mean, guys, I show them the reference in the front of them in the screen. I show them what their prophet said. I give the reference live on air, and yet they say to me, liar. How is that? By the way, just to be to be honest with you, Muhammad he never mentioned that in the heaven of Allah, women they will be wearing high heels. Just to let you know. Okay, so to give a, a correct image here, you have to take off the high heels from the picture. That will make it more accurate. So they spend the day telling us about Allah is one God, but they will not tell us that Allah, he work in x-ray clinic and he is going to make for us women, their nature of a flesh we can see through and even their bones is see through. 
by the way I see in her Billy here this woman I see I think I think she ate hummus I don't know if you can see the hummus with me here do you see the hummus I see hummus here I, I'm I think this here is like to, um, tomato maybe here tomato Any Muslim, he want to tell us about the one God he worship. So you give us headache every day, one God, one God, one God. You ever want a crazy God? What this? I spend my life praying to this God to get this. I don't want to go to heaven no more. What about we have other deal? Hey Allah, if I believe in you, can you just send me to Las Vegas? I mean, come on, please. I don't want to go there. Look at those women. I'm scared. And the funny is what Muslims they say to you in text, liar. Abdul, it's in the says in the front of us. This is Sahih al Bukhari, brother. This is Sahih al Bukhari. I apologize, guys, for those pictures because last time I put those pictures in the screen, I heard like there's 20 Christians they converted to Islam immediately. And this is what happened. I put the picture in the screen and those men they start like in getting hot and they felt like they have a fever and then they felt the temptation taking over them and then they could not resist to say the shahada and this is for sure true story from Sahir Bukhari so you have one God you have ten God but this is the God you have my friend Stop fooling around trying to fool people saying we have one God who care if your God is one or two or three or four What we care for is that your God have no good ethic What kind of God is going to create for me a huge number of women for sex If your God is a true God then he should create one man and one woman maximum if sex is going to be there what about why your God do not know what the word love mean a man he love a woman they live together forever wonderful he make them love each other what the point of 70 women or 72 which I never met they are just made as sex toys for me all of them they sing the same song and the funny Muhammad he says that each time you have sex with this woman she said to you you are the best man to F I mean, how in the world she say that if she never have sex with any man before? Aren't you saying to us they are virgins? So each time you have sex with her, she said to her husband, man, you are the best to F, man. And you were like, you are so proud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> I am the man. I am the best. Did you hear what she said? Say it again, say it again. I mean, how silly is that is? Each time her husband he sleep with her, but she never sleep with other man. Yet she say you are the best one to f. Shouldn't you go and try somebody else first, at least for a night or two? And that remind me of Aisha when she said, "Who of you have private parts like the Prophet?" How Aisha she knew. من منكم يملك إربه؟ We can't find the hadith in English. Here we go. And look how the Muslim translate this. 
even if we go with their false translation. When Aisha, she says, who among you can control his desire as the messenger controlled his desire? How she knew? Can somebody tell me? She's talking to men. He's trying to call me. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Hussein is trying to call me. Did you get the permission from Mama Hussein before you call me? Be careful, huh? Okay, let me call you, Hussein. Hold on. So why you don't call me, Hussein? Call. If I call you, you promise me you will answer? Okay, I will call you. <coughs> answer, Hussein, answer. Look like Hussein, he could not control his desire to answer me. Or not to answer, sorry. What a coward. He just texted me here. <laughs> uh, you fool, you do not know. Alam al. Alam al khalq. Alam al amar. I mean, is that Arabic supposedly? This is what uh, Hussein she, he want. Why you don't call me and explain to me what are you saying? If this is Arabic, I don't know what gibberish is. What alam al khalaq? What is that? Hello, hello, it's me you're looking for. And you are scared as never before because I'm terrifying to you, and everybody is waiting. Hello, you are just another potato, and you have nothing to say. La 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 la. la. Who of you can control desire, his desire, like the prophet? I just simply look like she slept with all the town. And she noticed that nobody of the men they can control their penis as the prophet. How shameful! Do we have any Abdul? Hey guys, how is this mic working? Is it good? Is this mic better than the mic was yesterday? I switched to the old mic because I noticed that this mic and see I can see the marrow of the bones of the mic. The other one I cannot see, and I like the marrow idea. Is this good? That's wonderful. Any Abdul? Did you see my message in Skype? I don't know. Let me see. No, I don't see any message in Skype. There's, there are zero messages. I think you, you messaged the, not the wrong guy. <laughs> like Muhammad, when he received the message from Jibreel, the Shia, they say the real message was to Ali. Oh, boy. Jibreel, he have a wrong address. He was coming to Ali. Anyone? So you know, like uh, when when the Muslims they speak about having one God, you have always to be smart and don't make them fool you. Who cares if your God is one or two or three? The question is how stupid, how smart your God is. You have one God, but he is silly, he's stupid, he's an idiot, 
he's hateful he's violent he's disgusting and he don't know even how a baby is created you go on YouTube you search you find scientific miracles of the Quran and when we check them one by one we will find that each one of them is not only not true it is the opposite do the Shia believe in Muhammad like the Sunnah yes yes they believe in Muhammad but the Shia they focus more in Ali and his children and the Shia believe uh, that Muhammad and his family they are created from the lights of Allah and they used to be four five stars in the in the eyes of Allah in the, in the forehead of Allah yes Ahmed how are you Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you, man? I'm fine. How about you? Allah, I am good. But always when I call you, I have a feeling that you will uh, will hang up the phone in the end. I, you know, I don't like uh, people lying to me. I like people to be honest. I'm not lying at you, man. Okay, let us let you us know us what talk. the hell that you're doing. Okay, let, let us see. see. Let us see. You let us see. Let us see. One one thing. One thing. Uh -huh. I will let you speak. Okay. No problem. <laughs> one thing, man. Brother <laughs> Christian. You don't have a chance in your mind that maybe this God is real. Maybe you are doing a dangerous stuff. Maybe God will punish you one day with something. To be honest you with you, God, let, you let me tell you what happened to me. I was going to Walmart and a woman, she is like in the size of 500 kilograms. She stepped in my foot. I think this is God punished to me from Allah. Do you think so? <laughs> Until now, my toes is hurting me. Look at it. Yeah, look, he, it's big. It's not about that. Yeah, yeah. Christian, hey, what Christian, are you talking about? Talking what about I know? Look what Allah, if Allah is, is a true God, look what's happening to you Muslims. I mean, look, don't you see what's happening? You are crossing the sea just to find a piece of a bread to eat. Look what happened to Somalia. Look what they happened to Syria. To look Jews, what happened to friend. Iraq. What happened to look, the Jews in the okay, beginning? What happened the to the Jews? No, the Jews, the Jews had, until uh, now, the Jews back. until now, they are the most rich, wealthy, rich people in the world. What are you talking about? Look at yes, the Jews. We took our part. We look, hold on, hold on. Look at Israel. Part. Look at Israel and look at you. Now, let us go back to the topic. Yeah, but before we were also rich and we were taking everything on the world and we are spreading everything in the world like America is doing right now. But what you need no, to no, 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 you, you Muslims, you, what you, no, no, right no, 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 you see, promoting before. no, you, you Muslims, even when you, when you conquer only the caliphate get rich and you Muslims stay poor and you die and look at you still is the same. You go to Saudi Arabia still until now the most of people they don't even have jobs and they are homeless They can't even afford to get married now. Let's go okay, to the you topic. You are not American, but you went to America to go to get Work and you get you, you want you want to secure your family, right? You also did the same thing. No, I don't, I don't, I don't have a wife, you know, I you know I, I, All my wives like the, the, what happened to me. I think this is a punishment from Allah each time I, uh, I I ask a girl to marry me. She commits suicide. What do you think the problem? No oh, man, come on, Christian, don't mock. Well, please. I am not mocking. I'm, I'm, and you are the one who is mocking. You are the one who says to me that Allah I'm is punishing me. My friend, I'm is, not is, it you, uh, is it you? Is it you who is saying to me Allah is going to punish me? Or he, you know, don't? Aren't you afraid from Allah punishment? Am I afraid from Allah? Punishment? No, you are the one who said that to me. Aren't you the one who said to me that? Yes, yes, of okay. course. I told you. Okay, that. let me ask you. In the Quran, Allah He said to the Christians, and I am, mm -hmm. and I am a Christian. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe in Muhammad. I am going to erase your eyes and your, you know, I, your eyes, your eyes and your uh, eyebrows, and your your mouth, your nose. I will, I will point, I will put your nose inside your head. Why Allah? He make a threat, but he did not do it. Why he cannot do it? Uh, God also said that he will burn you in, in hellfire. He will give you a new skin every time it will. No, burned, but, so. but that's another question. You can talk about that uh, uh, later. No problem. How Allah okay. He says to the Christians, if you don't believe now in Allah. I am going to erase the details of your faces. I will make okay. you with no mouth, with no ears, huh. with no eyes, with no eyebrows, and I will okay. push your nose inside your head. Okay. And and he said to them, I will do that to you the same as I did to the Jews. I made them pigs and monkeys. So this mm -hmm. is not about the judgment day. This is about now. So why Allah is not doing that to me? Because it was not talking about you. It was talking about people at that time. Okay, right? why he did not do it to those people at that time? In the time of Muhammad? Why he did yeah, not do that to the It is the Christian? same verse. Listen, it is the same verse that was talking out of context when you, when you, I, I heard you two days ago talking about وَقْتُلُوهُمْ حَيْثُ وَجَدْتُمُهُمْ Kill them wherever you see them. Hmm. You Answer know, about this now. We can go to the front. Don't jump. What about I'm not this? Jumping. It is did, the same thing. Did Allah, no. did, same Allah, did Allah make anyone erase his face and he was a Christian for he did not believe in Muhammad? Can no. you give me an there example? Is no verse, there is no verse in the Quran 
that tell us to take sides, that tell us to be racist to the uh, Jewish. This or is not the question. The, this is not the question. The why you are changing the topic? You see why I hang up on you? I like to no, talk. No, I like to talk. I like to talk to an adult. I talk but, about something. You answer about things. I have nothing to do with it now. I am asking no, you. No, no, no. Did Allah? Uh, no, no, no. Don't say. Don't, don't make me hang up on you. Like I am that, talking to you as an adult. Why you uh, Ahmad, Ahmad, you Ahmad, want to turn us to Ahmad. You want to turn us to dogs. Listen, listen. Either you are a consistent an adult, and you talk to me and you answer what I'm talking okay, about. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So don't change the topic. This is a beautiful. Don't change the topic. So now show me. Where is the ones? Where is the? Where is the ones? Hold on. Hold on. Where is the ones, where is the Christians who Allah made their faces erased? I don't know. So why yeah. Allah is making a lie? I, I don't know if this is a lie. Why not? I, don't I mean, know this because, is true. because he, he threatened them in the time of Muhammad. If you don't believe in Muhammad, I will erase your faces and nothing happened. My friend, okay, you are picking words. God say, if you don't believe in Muhammad and God, you will go to hell. It's it's worse. No, than this is not about judgment day. This is about the time when Muhammad he said that to them as the same as I did to the Jews. He did it already. This is not about judgment day. So he is a threatening. If you don't believe in Muhammad, I am going to erase the details of your face. Okay, so what is the problem of that? The did problem Jesus is say, that this is a lie because God in your Bible. The problem is, is the problem is me and God, the, pro uh, the problem is your God. Is not a true God. He said something and that never happened, uh -huh. which means Muhammad uh -huh. is probably okay. Let me ask you, have you ever seen a person raising his head before the Imam finished the finish, finish the prayer? Wait, wait, wait. You said your God is not true God. This is your God, to your God, your God. To you. Your God, your God is not a true God, it does not exist. Now I'm asking you, yeah, have no you ever have no, you no, ever no. seen Ahmad, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. listen, listen? When you go to the mosque, be honest with me. Have you ever seen a Muslim raising his head before the Imam finished the prayer? No, never. Never, no Muslim raise head. I can show you tons of videos right now. What are you talking about? Wait, wait, wait. You are talking in the masjid when someone yes. is praying behind the Imam, right? Yeah, yeah. If you are praying behind the Imam, you do whatever he does. Okay. There will be people, there will be people in the back, mm. in the in the back, mm. praying alone because they are behind. Okay. So ha place. have you have you ever witnessed a person he raised his head before the Imam, he raised his head? Let us say by mistake or whatever. No, 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 no. By mistake, yeah. Some people do mistake. Yes. Okay, thank by you. Mistake, very much. Okay, so guys, by mistake. Okay, by mistake. Okay, okay. okay, we got it. guys. He he saw some people by mistake. They do that. Okay. Now, your prophet, he says, aren't you afraid to raise your head before the imam finish the prayer because Allah will make your head the head of a donkey? <laughs> Are you laughing at your prophet now or what? Christian, Christian, I know my. Prophet. Are you so laughing you at your prophet? Did did no. you see the man? You just said yes by mistake. Some people they do that, and everybody heard yes. you. Did yes. you see any of those who raised their head before the imam raised his head turn into a donkey? Yeah, he's, listen. If this hadith is hadith sahih, I don't I don't remember all the hadith sahih. It's over six thousand, but if it's sahih, it is he'll be talking about someone. It is who will raise, Yeah, he will be he will be talking about someone who will raise his head. In purpose before the imam. That means ah, he's a he's not in purpose, in purpose. <laughs> okay, okay, and, and you are telling me, and you are, and you are telling me, okay, okay, and you are telling me from from one thousand four hundred years until now, not even a single Muslim he raised his head in purpose. <laughs> Don't tell me in any way. Don't God, tell me. Don't tell me. Happened to me. Uh, listen, listen. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Obviously. The topic okay. You are how, you how come? How come for fourteen hundred years, not a single Muslim, Allah, He made His head the head of a donkey? Can you prove that? Show me. Do you have a human being here ahead of a donkey? Can you prove that that nobody? Else you have to prove it. You have to prove it. Do you have you ever see a man he have a head of a donkey is a Muslim? Yeah, I, I saw. I saw man. I saw men in front mm. of my eyes because mm. they are hypocrite. Mm. They have a very bad death because they hypocrites. But okay. your prophet, some your, of them, your prophet, some of them, my friend. Of them, okay, listen. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, hold I saw on. In front of my eyes. Okay, some what, what do you mean? What do you mean? What, what do you mean? Bad death? Like what happened? Okay, I will tell you. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Mm. One guy was mocking God. Okay. And he drove the car in front of me. Mm. Okay. God, okay. God, Allah yirhamu, yani God bless his soul. <laughs> I, I wish that God forgive him. He was a, he was a nice guy, mm. but because he was so arrogant, he was talking about God. He was an atheist. He didn't believe in God. Mm. 
you know, and he starts saying if God and if that and if this. He, this guy started driving his car, and when he drove his car, my friend, ten minutes later, we got a call that he got he, he died on the street, mm -hmm. and the car got burned on him. He got burned inside the car, my friend. Ten minutes later, my friend. That's this, why I'm saying to you. This Christian. is really this is really disgusting. Yeah, sometimes, uh, uh, okay, sometimes. listen, listen. I have a story that somebody he made fun of the miswak, and then Allah he made him a rat, and he made him give a birth to a rat. This actually, this is not true. This is not true. So what if I show you the reference? Okay, I, I, um, Christian, you are bringing reference from there and that. You are, you are doing exactly. You are doing exactly what the racist Muslims are doing. Okay, some let me ask Muslim you. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, did Allah make the Jews rats? Did Allah make the Jews rats? Yes. No, but maybe he he uh, what you call it. He gave them some attributes because the people of uh, Israel at that time they were ignorant. Okay, you know, so it's like you are no. Uh, my question are is from okay. My my question to you, Allah he Allah he when he cursed the Jews, what he made them? He made them what animals he made them? Do you know? He didn't make, but he cursed them. He will make him. He, he will, will make, make them? them. No, the Quran says no. The Quran says I don't know what you are. You sure you are a Muslim? Wallahi alhamdulillah. Okay. Well, but you know, the thing is, I don't go into details. I do, I'm not interested to know how did the, how did this guy die? How did this guy, uh, he, did he turn to a monkey? I'm interested in the message. My I friend, the, the message Quran, here we go. Those verses in front of you on the screen. Chapter 2, verse number two, uh, 65. Chapter 5, verse number 60. Chapter, chapter 7, 166. It says yeah, that, yeah, that, that we, 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 made, we, made, we made them pigs and monkeys. Here we go. Shall I tell you uh, 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 the of worse case in their uh, uh, retribution with Allah, the worse, which means he's talking about the Jews, whom Allah has cursed him, on whom he has worth has failing, and of ho uh, and the translation is really horrible. Let me change. See, I'm telling you, that's why you have uh, confusion. You are reading a translation. I'm reading the original book, and there is nothing about what you are saying uh, in did, the original. Did, did you did you forget I am an Arab, Ahmad? No, I don't forget you are. Okay, so what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm translation. What do you mean? I'm reading translation. I'm reading okay. for you. I'm reading you translation. Are Here we go. You are a Christian. Uh, hold on. Do you see it? Yes. So here yes. we go. It doesn't yes. matter yes. what we read the language. You speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. In front of us, Allah, He made the pigs. He made the Jews. Pigs and monkeys. Not in the judgment day, as you said. Wait a minute. Didn't you see any Muslim who are racist? There is racist Muslim. This is another question. You said that Allah He will make them in the judgment day, but the Quran yeah. says He made them already. I don't agree with that. I'm just trying to be polite. I it's in front of you, guys. Does it say that in English? Even in English, it says that Allah okay, He cursed okay. them. Don't tell me in English. Allah He cursed them and He transformed. He transformed okay. them into apes. Transformed. <laughs> You, you don't you speak Arabic? What's wrong with you? In the front of I you, it says Arabic. you are reading okay. Okay. It says it says what Jaala what Jaala mean home. Do you know what Jaala mean? Yeah. Okay, Jaala is past tense. No, no, no. Is Jaala past tense or it is a future tense? To the end. This is how you should read Quran. What? You, the way you should read Quran <laughs> is to start the verse from the beginning <laughs> and then you finish it. Nice to meet you, Ahmad. Take care. Well, well, <laughs> <laughs> hey by the way guys Allah he punished me I, I want to tell you a true story that Allah he punished me uh, yesterday I went to the bathroom and in the bathroom the faucet was leaking and really, I'm thinking that this is a punishment from Allah. I fixed the faucet. Today, I came back. I found the faucet not leaking no more. And I was wondering, why Allah don't punish me again and make the faucet leak again? Let me go to the bathroom. <laughs> you Muslims are very funny. Your prophet, he died a very horrible death. He died by poison. And actually, we can prove that according to Muhammad, Muhammad was punished by Allah. Let me show you. In the Quran, Muhammad, he said, claiming that his God said, that if Muhammad fabricated Quran, 
chapter 69 verse number 46 and you can read actually in the verses before it no no problem it says if Muhammad invented any false thing claiming it is from us surely we will take him from his right hand and we will cut off his artery and guess what happened we go to the hadith Muhammad he said that this is what happened to him you see it do you see it so when you speak to me about Allah will punish me obviously your Allah he punished Muhammad and nothing happening to me thank God I'm healthy one day the Muslims Christian Prince will die or would have an illness or something and they will say see Allah he finished punish him That's a false statement. But based on the Quran, Muhammad claimed that Allah said, if he is fabricating Quran, Allah will cut his artery. And then we find that Muhammad saying exactly that this has happened to him. And I believe what happened here, that my God is the one who caused that to happen to Muhammad as additional proof to prove to us that Muhammad is a false prophet, not Allah. Muhammad when he made the claim that if I am fabricating Allah will cut my artery he never thought it's going to happen I don't debate with kids I don't debate with adults all Muslims are the same for me I don't debate them I just play don't you notice I never debated a Muslim because there is no Muslim the first thing a Muslim, you know, you, you need to know. An honest Muslim, he don't deny what we show in the front of him. You see, I'm showing in the screen. I show him that his God, he said that he made the, the Jews, pigs and monkeys. He made them. He says, I never heard of this before. I don't believe in that. doesn't say that. He speaks Arabic. I read it for him in Arabic. Still, he says to me, no, this is about the future. Look, what are you talking about? I just show it to you in Arabic. I mean, I am showing it to you in the screen, in your language, which is my language too, and in English. Yet you keep saying to me, this is not true. brothers and sisters if you raise your head before the imam brother Allah will make your head ahead of a donkey that explain why Ahmed and Najat look like that obviously he raised his head before the imam one day hello a brother brother I am really afraid that Allah will punish your brother don't you know brother that you know you are doing something dangerous brother and if something happened to me in the future, you will say Allah punish him. But people die every day by disease, by cancer, by car accident. Millions of people die. And they are Muslims. Actually, the, the, the most people who die early are Muslims. Not like European. You will see a woman, she is, you know, a hundred something and she's still... Uh, living and kicking and you see a guy in in the, in the Middle East he is not even 55 and he's dying so here we go you are the one who keeps saying the name of Allah but you are the most people to suffer from death in 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 Islamic countries if you don't die from war you die from other issues everything is corrupt even medicine is fake Okay, hold on, hold on. Hussein, he gave us something to read. 
hold on I want to read it my I cannot I cannot resist the temptation theory of alam al khalaq alam al amr <coughs> I mean this guy who wrote this article obviously he knew Arabic very well let me show you what this guy he posted for us so we can just read and laugh <coughs> all right the theological philosophy the domain of these things in a divided various written description <laughs> the maddy material <laughs> okay and the world commanded every being assume existence okay the theory commanded is in retaliation of the Quran in the robot come already for the customer what I will order for you I am so must do a little harsh you see a little on the hard way to have Ethan okay the translation do your Lord Allah who created the heaven and the earth in six days then he mounted the on the throne he covered the day with the night which is hast to follow it and has made the Sun and the moon and the stars uh, super by his command he is verily is all a creation and the commander okay hold on you see you are the one who posts this article and now I will make you regret your God is claiming that he is the one who make the day cover the night how is it true that there is a day is covering the night is that real your God here he says that he is the one who made the Sun the moon and the stars obviously your God do not know that the Sun is a star and not only that how the day and the night occurred according to Islam The Quran explain. In chapter 18, verse number 86, it says that Allah is saying that the sun set in a murky water. How the sun and the day they follow each other? The story will be explained by Muhammad himself. Unless you want to say to me, Muhammad is an idiot, you do not know what he's talking about. We go to the hadith. Muhammad, he says, Remember, the one who's talking is Muhammad. So if you want to say you are a liar, it's up to you. Your prophet says, I was sitting, this is Abu Dhar, he's saying, I was sitting behind Allah Messenger. Who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting he asked do you know where this set supposedly speaking about the sun i replied allah and his uh, and, the, and his apostle knows best <laughs> they associate the knowledge of god with the knowledge of man because muhammad you don't speak of himself he's god and too you know he's he is the one who have all the secret of the world muhammad he says it's set in a spring of warm water now that is not enough to explain to you what's happening here how the day and the night they occur according to Muhammad read carefully <clears throat> this is another hadith in Sahih Bukhari once I was with the Prophet of Allah at the time of the sunset the Prophet said oh Abu Dhar do you know where the sunset I replied Allah and his apostle knows best he said it goes and prostrate itself underneath Allah throne and that is Allah statement and the Sun run into a fixed course so when you quote for me this article you just to prove to me that Islam is a false cult the Sun it goes every day and prostrate itself the Sun itself is the one is going from point A to point B it is not the earth going around itself so we can see the day and the night no and Muhammad here he is even quoting the Quran to prove his point saying for Allah this is what it's meant in the Quran where it says in chapter 36 verse number 38 so my friend the one you gave me the link you just get your prophet busted 
how Muhammad he said the sun set in murky water in his Quran and in his hadith and how Muhammad he says that Allah he command the sun to sit under his throne and the sun she asked for permission every day let us go and find different hadith Read with me carefully. <clears throat> this one is all even more funny. The Prophet of Allah asked me at the sunset, do you know where the sun goes at the time of the sunset? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows better. He said, it goes, i.e., travels till it prostrates itself under the throne of Allah and, uh, and takes the permission to rise again. <laughs> Are you there, Hussein? Hussein, yeah, Hussein. I'm so proud of you for thank you for sending me the barbecue. Hussein, yeah, Hussein. Hussein, are you there? So your Quran, your Hadith, your Prophet getting you busted, saying that the sun set in a murky water, and this is the course of the sun. Hussein, ya Hussein. You said that Jesus was created by B? No, I did not say that. The Quran says that, you idiot. But for sure, this is impossible. Why? Because the Quran says that the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam, but Adam was not created by B. So Allah get himself busted again. Allah, he said that I created him by my hands. Hussein, ya Hussein. Abdul, wherever you go, no one is matched to debate me. I will not even debate myself. I will lose. Try something better. And not only this. The verse you just gave me, it says that Allah, he created the earth and the heaven in six days. Is that right? Is that right? The Quran says eight. There's different verse speaking that Allah He created the earth and the heaven in, in eight days. Secondly, here you notice something very funny. Do you see here it says then then Allah He mounted He the throne? What mounted He the throne? I mean, how silly this translation is. It doesn't say that. He mounted the throne. What do you mean the throne was flipped? He mounted himself on the throne. Question. Who is carrying the throne of Allah? Is it true that Allah is carried by eight Mounting goats. Abdul, is it true that Allah is carried by eight mounting goats? I saw I saw Santa Claus once, but it was not really goats, to be honest with you. So what do you think? So Allah, he have a throne, and there is eight mountain goats are carrying his throne. Let us go and find the hadith. <clears throat> mountain goats. Hold on. Read with me, uh, brother. Muhammad, by the way, he knew all kind of science and he knew the distance between the earth and the heaven and everything. He knew everything. And then he says, describing the seven heavens, 
above the seventh heaven there is a sea <laughs> guys i'm going to go vacation i'm going to go above the seven heaven to have a, like nobody there the beach is just for you so above the seven heaven there is a sea the distance between who, who, those surface and the bottom is like between the one heaven and the other which means 700 years or 500 years they depend you know here it says 70 to 73 72 years as you see and different hadith muhammad he says 500 years it changes mind and then he, he says above that there is eight mountain goats the distance between whose hoofs and hunches is like the distance between the heaven and the other and then allah the exalted the blessed is above that <laughs> i love it i love it i love it <clears throat> i wanted to buy a goat but the the city did not allow me they are very strict in growing goats these days are you there hussein which mean the sun sit literally in that sea under the goats which is the throne of Allah it doesn't say hold the throne well I can show it to you from the Quran <laughs> Look at this poor Abdul. He thinks he saved his ass by saying it doesn't say. <laughs> uh, I feel sorry for this cult. Oh boy. Supposedly now he fix it like it doesn't say that it says that in the Quran chapter 68 verse number 17 And the Muslims here they says they are eight angels in the translation But in fact they are eight goats according to your prophet Do you see it? hello all right guys I think we have enough for today I just wanted to share this topic with you please don't forget to download the video and save them and share them I am NOT keeping my videos for long in my page and to be sure that you guys are downloading this is why you see my videos are disappearing one after one so please give it like an hour from now maximum and you will see the whole video ready to download if the video always is more than two hours it take a little bit for the video to load so like if you when we stop if you try to look it says like two hours only this is in the beginning uh, unless it is less than two hours but it is if it is more than two hours it take a little bit maybe 20 minutes maybe one hour and then you can download the whole video and then I can delete it from my page now I want people to take what I am teaching and share it everywhere and in the same time always have a backup especially if you think there's a video is kind of interesting for you like the video we have about Muhammad is he another cult another cult leader which is extremely important so if you think there's some videos are really important you learn a lot from them so you want later to remember what I said reference save them you can save them in your G Drive not necessarily in your uh, uh, in your computer to save uh, memory all right so I want to say thank you everybody for being here and with my love for those people who they are in Indonesia in India in Thailand and all in Asia Philippine and for sure those who just woke up in Europe and they join us and actually I'm trying to do more broadcast for those who they are in Asia because I noticed that we are receiving a lot of view from uh, Asian countries specifically from Indonesia and uh, India and Philippines <clears throat> so 
uh, I really love to help them as much as I can and I wish I speak their language but what we can do I don't otherwise we can make a revolution in a few years in Indonesia but the glory to the Lord we have many good Christians from Indonesia they are translating my videos by adding subtitle and they are doing a great job so I'm very grateful that the Lord he gave me the opportunity to communicate with those people who they deserve our love and our support we love all people in Indonesia Muslims Christians doesn't matter for the Lord is the Lord of love and because we love them all we don't save the best of what we have to ourselves only we would like to share it with them and that's why we invite them to accept the Messiah as their Lord as their Savior not because we hate you if we hate you we will not trust me care for your salvation but because we love you we offer you the best and you know that he is the best he's not a child molester like Muhammad he's not a criminal he's not a killer he's not a slave buyer or seller he's not a liar he's not a thief he's not a cheater he is the good God so I invite all people of Indonesia to learn more about the cult of Islam so they can learn more about the wonderful Messiah try to compare even though the compare between the Messiah and Muhammad is an insult to the Messiah but we have no choice because you are a Muslim and you will find that there is no way we can even compare between the holy name of the Messiah and Muhammad who tried to call himself and make himself equal to God by choosing the name of Muhammad which is not his real name Muhammad means the praised one how a human being there to call himself the praised one unless he is Satan only God is the praised one and that is the Messiah my Lord thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and thank you very much